project risk is defined by PMI as an uncertain event or condition that, if it occurs, has a positive or negative effect on a project's objectives. Hello, my name is Celito Rodriguez, and in this short presentation, I will discuss some of the most fundamental aspects of project risk management. The purpose of this presentation is to discuss some of the most uh, basic and fundamental aspects of project risk management. Here is the agenda. The importance of project risk management. Common sources of risks on information technology projects. Identifying risks. Performing qualitative risk analysis. Performing quantitative risk analysis. Planning risk responses. Monitoring and controlling risks. And using software to assist in project risk management. Benefits from software risk management practices include anticipating and avoiding problems, preventing surprises, improving negotiations, meeting customers' commitments, reducing the schedule slips, and reducing cost overruns, among others. The six major processes in planning risk management are planning risk management, identifying risks, performing qualitative risk analysis, performing quantitative risk analysis, performing risk responses, and monitoring and controlling risks. Planning risk management involves deciding how to approach and plan the risk management activities for the given project. Identifying risks involves determining which risks are likely to affect a project and documenting the characteristics of each. Uh, performing a qualitative risk analysis uh, has to do with prioritizing risk based on the probability and impact of the occurrence. Performing quantitative risk analysis uh, involves numerically estimating the effects of risks on project objectives. Uh, planning risk responses has to do with taking the uh, steps to enhance opportunities and reduce threats to meeting project objectives. And finally, monitoring and controlling risk involves monitoring identified and residual risks identifying new risks, carrying out risk response plans, and evaluating the effectiveness of risk strategies throughout the life of the project. Common sources of risk on information technology projects. In order of relative importance of this list over here, the first five are uh, fundamental. Uh, user involvement. This is huge. Uh, some companies have spent thousands and even millions of dollars on uh, information technology projects only to find out that user will not use the technology. They will not uh, get engaged. They will not get involved into the technology and therefore the project would fail. Uh, executive management support. Senior management support is fundamental. If you do not get support from senior management, it is very difficult for an information or any project, uh, uh, not just an information technology project to succeed. A clear a statement of requirements. This is big. Uh, a lot of companies start this very complex projects with a very unclear statement of requirements and that causes a lot of problems. Uh, proper planning, which basically has to do with a clear statement of requirements. In other words, uh, you know, the uh, statement of requirements is a subset of the proper planning process. And, um, and I would say that 
uh, realistic expectations. So those first five are huge. Uh, other common sources that are also important to consider are uh, smaller project milestones, uh, competent staff, obviously, uh, ownership, um, clear visions and objectives, and hardworking and, and focused staff. Identifying risks is the process of understanding what potential events might hurt or enhance a particular project. Identifying risks is a key element in the risk management process. And it's very important to find out what these known risks are. Uh, five common information gathering techniques that most companies use are brainstorming, the Delphi technique, interviewing, root cause analysis, and the SWOT analysis. Performing qualitative risk analysis. Qualitative risk analysis involves assessing the likelihood and impact of identified risks to determine their magnitude and priority. Some key concepts in this uh, part of the risk management process are a probability or impact matrix, top 10 risk item tracking, expert judgment, and a watch list. Quantitative risk analysis assigns a projected value Usually, this value is stated in terms of cost or time to the risks that have already been ranked by the previous process, which is the perform qualitative risk analysis. In other words, uh, these two processes are uh, most of the time used together, although they could be used separately. Some of the m most important tools used in performing quantitative risk analysis are decision trees, expected monetary value, uh, simulation software like the uh, Monte Carlo analysis, and sensitivity analysis. Planning risk responses. After an organization identifies and quantifies risks, it must develop an appropriate response to them. Developing a response to risk involves developing options and defining strategies for reducing negative risk and enhancing positive risks. The four basic response strategies for negative risks are risk avoidance, risk acceptance, risk transference, and risk mitigation. Um, risk avoidance. A lot of companies try to avoid any kind of risks. In other cases, there are some risks that cannot be avoided and you just have to live with them. You have to, to accept the risk. Uh, other, in other cases, you can transfer the risk. You can hire a consulting company or you could buy insurance. In all, the main objective of planning risk responses is risk mitigation. Um, all projects have risks and not all risks can be avoided completely so the main goal is to uh, to mitigate the risks so that if they happen the effect is not so big that will uh, have a very negative impact on the project monitoring and controlling risks Monitoring and controlling risks involves executing the risk management processes to, response, to respond to risk events. Some of the key elements of this process are executing the risk management processes, responding to risk events, risk assessment, risk audits, risk register, and the risk register updates, change requests, and periodic 
periodic risk reviews. Using software to assist in project risk management. Uh, some of the most uh, popular uh, software to use in, in, uh, in project management and risk management is the uh, Microsoft Office Suite, uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, uh, Outlook. Uh, some smaller companies may use uh, Google Docs. Uh, Microsoft Project is also very popular. Uh, mind mapping uh, software, uh, simulation software like the Monte Carlo analysis. This is a very high-end and expensive piece of software. Uh, crystal Ball, and there are also other uh, high-end uh, you know software that uh, company use to help assist in, in managing uh, not just risk management but basically. Uh, the, the entire project as a whole. This is the end of my presentation. What did we cover? We talked about the importance of project risk management. We identified some common sources of risks on information technology projects. Discussed some ways of identifying risks. We talked about performing qualitative, qualitative risk analysis, performing quantitative risk analysis. We talked about planning risk responses. We discussed monitoring and controlling risks. And finally, we talked about using some software to assist in project risk management. Thank you for watching my presentation. I hope that you find it useful and interesting.